So Tokyo is like this maze, an absolute maze of little underground streets that go here, there, everywhere with a million and one bits of shopping, food courts, you name it. It's just insane. It goes on forever. There's a Granny Smith. I thought she was Australian. <laughs> I've had my heart broken. Okay, we got food courts, we got everything. But look, it's worth coming through the shops just to stay out of the sun. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm just walking through, just walking through, hoping I can find an exit or two. say again that without Google Maps you've got no hope of getting anywhere. I notice when you walk along it's really silent, no one makes any noise, but yeah, back to my point, for the umpteenth time, you're going to need Google Maps and you're going to need a SIM card with data. The only confusing thing is when you're above ground it picks up where you are really easily, but unfortunately when you're below ground, um, when you're below ground, that GPS is really hard and so when you're sitting there and then suddenly 30 seconds later, pachook, it's moved there and you're like, oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm gonna go this way. So it doesn't keep you as updated below ground, but below ground is air conditioned and above ground is hot. So take the risk, go underground, but remember your GPS is gonna update really slowly. So it's gonna be hard to know if you're going the right way. And of course I'm not going the right way, but I don't care. It's underground, it's air conditioned. You get to see places you've never been before get lost occasionally as many people have told me before today <laughs> anyway let's keep walking along head back to Shinjuku and uh, move on back to our hotel let's keep it going for some reason I have this uncanny knack of singing when I wake up well I know where I'm gonna be I feel like I'm walking 500 miles. <laughs> Let's keep going. We decided to come out to a traditional uh, ramen noodle house where it's handmade ramen. Everything's prepared by hand in the traditional style. It's on the wooden benches. So let's have a look at our, our meal, what we have here. So we have our soup. Then we add our noodles individually, as you can see. Then we've decided to order some gyoza and last but not least some deep fried chicken and of course we're going to top it off with some acai and I have the boss here and she is the ramen expert so she will get to see the traditional ramen method to see whether it tastes as good as it looks. Let's give it a go. So this ends our walking adventure for today. It's been good walking around Tokyo. 
I like walking around cities. You get lost occasionally, and that's all part of the fun. So long as you're not in a rush to pee somewhere. I mean, look at this. It's so beautiful. Even when I have a blurred out manual focus, so it looks artistic. But anyway, <clears throat> it's got a bit of a dry throat. For some reason, I feel like I should finish up with, I would walk 500 miles. I don't dare sing anymore in case YouTube gives me a block, but it's great walking around cities like this. I mean, look, Alex's little legs probably don't like it. Seven-year-old little legs don't like walking it, but that's why I left him with the boss woman. And I came for a walk around Tokyo on my own. So I hope you enjoyed today and walking around Tokyo and seeing the money changes and the train stations and the chaos that is Tokyo. We've only just scratched the surface. I mean, honestly, you could spend a year and we've just done Shinjuku. Tomorrow we're off to Shibuya and the largest pedestrian crossing in Zabara. <laughs>guy area where people go down these little laneways where there is hundreds of restaurants down each little laneway see the little signs here and down each of these laneways there's all kinds of food to eat let's go down and have a look shall we